This is part 12 of payroll management software. Today we will create user details report using crystal report. First we will create two new folder. One is reports. And uh, second one is report form. In the report folder uh, we will create uh, crystal report files. In the report form we will create a uh, windows forms. Add Windows form here form user report expand the screen here change this uh, text here form user report okay now I want to add crystal report viewer if you don't want this uh, group tree here um, click this small icon here change this uh, group tree to none Okay, if you want this toolbar uh, status bar you can keep it or else uncheck this uh, check boxes display toolbar display status bar okay. Now um, we'll create um, a reports menu in form main Your reports Sub menu will be user report. Okay, double click this here yeah. report form dot form user report. Then I will copy these three lines and pasting here. Okay, now will create a um, reports crystal report under this reports folder had new item here select um, reporting under reporting select crystal reports your name will be user click add here select as a blank report click ok blank report is created okay now we need one more uh, folder data okay inside that we'll create data set new item under data select data set name will be data set or you can change the name In the data set, we can add a number of tables, uh, data tables. Okay, right click, add uh, data table or table adapter. Data table. Here, or else we can use the other method. Here, server explorer. Here, right click on data connections add connection your server name will be dot we are using local connection you are select or enter database name our database name will be mini payroll okay mini payroll click ok see here now we have mini payroll database here uh, click expand this tables here we have uh, list of tables drag this user table here now um, change this data set by pressing ctrl s okay now go to design user report here in report header we can give header of this report file right click insert text object your user report Okay, then if you want print date here on right side, we can add it insert special field inside uh, select print date. We want to change this uh, format format object here change customize. Here first we want to display day month year and. Uh, separator you can select the separator month how to display month 0 3 or march like that you change, uh, select here okay 
then click OK. Yes, select OK. Okay, now we need print date. It's like a label. Then in page header, we can give header for um, user report file. Okay, yeah. First serial number. You can expand this user table. Okay. Then I want to display name. then username then uh, password no need to uh, display your role and date of birth it's enough role and then date of birth okay um, we can change the uh, page style your page setup right click your design page setup yeah change this uh, letter to a4 click ok okay make this center Okay, uh, we want to format this text boxes, format multiple objects, here font, font will be 11 and then bold, okay, we can change the font style also, click OK, okay, now in details section, uh, here uh, we can display the data from SQL table. Further, go to Field Explorer. You are right click on Database Fields, Database Expert, your Project Data, ADO.NET Data Sets. Here we have Mini Payroll Data Set under we are um, User Table. Click this uh, button here. It will go this side. Click OK. Now we have User Table here. Okay. In Serial Number, we don't have in this table. So right click Insert special field here we have record number okay it it will auto increment your yeah, um, field editing not required so delete it change uh, this style format object uh, go to common by default uh, change this to center or left alignment and then number here display positive values click ok now drag this name field here ok next username then role then data but we can adjust this here we can display email also so let's move left side i just copy this name and you yeah, change this text to email and drag email here okay okay save this now uh, click this main report preview 
this is how our report looks like this here we want to adjust this print date a little bit and uh, date of birth or date format we have to change okay go to main report here expand this one okay date of birth right click format object here customize date okay select day month year year short or else here we can change select day month year then click ok ok now if you want lines um here you can add go to toolbox your line object click this ok this much enough and uh, select line object okay. uh, you can change the line style also format object here I want dotted okay click ok it's look like this main report preview okay now save this and here right click here section export or fit section select fit section okay save this file now open this form user report okay First, we'll declare um, report document object script equal new report document. Here, we have to include namespace uh, crystal decisions dot crystal reports dot engine. Add this namespace. Okay, now in load event script dot load inside, we have to pass um, report path this user report path this user uh, in this project folder we have reports folder uh, inside this we have user report file so go to project folder we have reports folder inside this we have user okay copy this path here and report then report dot rpt file name this is the file name Okay. Now put at the red symbol before. Okay, the error solved. Okay, now we call the connection class con equals new connection. Your con dot data get method inside this will pass SQL query select star from user your table name is user only okay then co n dot before that we'll declare data set object dst equal to new data set okay here co n dot sda dot fill inside will pass dst data set object here we have to pass table name user then trip dot set data source will be dst data set object then crystal report viewer one dot report source equal to this crisp uh, okay. report document object crypt okay now save this file okay now start the application okay when you run your 
crystal report um, it gives this error this error occurs when you try to load mixed mode assemblies created in older version of dotnet in dotnet 4 okay in such circumstances older version of the assembly will fails to load crystal report still as a dependencies which target framework version 2.0 Okay. Uh, when using ADO.NET uh, with the Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0 and above, uh, we have to add uh, settings in a uh, configuration file. Okay, let's stop the execution. Here we have app config file. Here we have startup tab. Tab. Okay. Here we have to use this use legacy. Um, set this true it's a optional attribute only it specifies whether to enable the dotnet framework 2.0 runtime act, uh, runtime activation policy or to use the dotnet framework 4 activation policy okay let's save this and start the application again click login reports menu under user report now we have the user report okay um now we can change this user report format little bit change the font style in user report yeah right click format object here font uh, text size will be 12 and uh, change this to bold click ok ok save this and start the application login reports user report ok now it looks fine ok uh, thank you for listening this see you there in next video